Celebrating its first decade, Nezumi Studios has been making a name for itself and creating some really successful watch collections. We reviewed the Voiture a few weeks ago, but this time around, we're going to take a look at its more affordable sibling, the Corvo. And this one has Milspec written all over it. This video is brought to you by Nezumi Studios. David Campo, founder of Nezumi, created the Corvo as a tribute to his grandfather, who had a decorated career in the Swedish Air Force. From unpacking this timepiece, it's very clear that it has the 60s and 70s spirit with a more modern heartbeat. The dimensions are about average at 40 and 47 millimeters, respectively. A definite advantage of this mecha quartz caliber is the thin profile of the case. This is further assisted by a solid case back which also adds to the vintage look. I love the high contrast of the dial as well as how it fits on my small wrist. My preference for 40mm cases is a constant in this channel and this chronograph passes that wrist check test. All I need is a flight suit and I can be anyone's wingman anytime. This style of watches is popular within the collector circle. It drops much of the glitz and glam in favor of raw utility. The crown here sets just the time, much like a no-nonsense flight chief. There's also some ample real estate on the crown to ensure the grip is optimal. Although it's battery operated, there's still mechanical elements to this chrono. Every push feels like a satisfying action because of its mechanical module. But the accuracy is multiple times better. And then the bezel, another source of sensory euphoria. It also functions as a marker for your elapsed time. I used it for the chronograph hand here, but you can use it for the minute hand as well. It's clear that the Corvo ticks all the boxes of a tool watch, but what about a fun watch? Nizumi made sure that the strap changes are fun and easy to do. No editing necessary for this clip. I'm using another Nizumi strap for this demonstration and I must say it's all done in good taste. Vintage watches often have these single tone straps matching the military uniform. With the amount of strap material, there is a good range of wrist sizes available for this setup. This black strap also pairs well with that high contrast but mostly dark dial. This now gives me the Leonidas and Universal Geneve vibes to it. On my wrist, it fits just fine although the fabric may feel a little rough at first. You can wear this on your bare wrist or if you feel a little more adventurous over a bomber jacket. Let's throw in a striped NATO and change the look completely. This may still pass off as a military watch but it now sways towards the racing crowd. This Artem strap features some polished hardware that kinda clashes with the Corvo's brushed exterior. A reasonable compromise for the sake of looking cool. But let's throw out the strap for a moment and give some attention to the spring bars and lugs. I love that Nezumi did not cut corners on this part of the watch. Not only is the lugs drilled, but the spring bars are thick and very robust. I use these same bars on this long overlook engineer bracelet and the Corvo transforms into a heavy duty timepiece. Admittedly, the angular links would clash with the curvier case profile, but the brush finish works seamlessly to match the case texture. Finally, let's see how a sailcloth strap could work with this thing. It's not bad either, but I feel that the NATO strap works better. I like how the padded strap gives a needed volume that complements the case. Seeing all that, it's likely that you'll be dressing this down or sideways. Dressing this up may be a bit of a stretch to many. You'll find out why as we slide this under a macro lens. When the only polished surface on your watch is the crystal, brush lines or matted facets will dominate the surface. But it's never boring on this as that Nezumi signature piques your interest. There's also a similar signature on the buckle, a welcome gesture. And what about that stunning case bag that has this motorsports grille pattern within the inlay. The dial also delivers some subtle texturing. There's no applied indexes and most of the design is printed on. I like it when the text also reflects light around its rims. This same principle applies to the aluminum bezel. 
As light rolls over it, the variation of reflections gives personality to the piece. One thing that I didn't like is how the markers split the two digit numbers apart. I would have rather shortened this marker down than separate the numerals. Speaking of numerals, all of them are adequately loomed including the ones that are on the bezel insert. These are incredibly potent and beautiful to look at. Let me reiterate, this is a mil-spec style chronograph. It looks the part without the certification nor price tag. That's actually a good thing. Remember, we just had a moon watch that's neither certified to go to the moon nor professional enough to hold its own pump pushers. The Corbeau is a lot more fun to play with while practically having the same price and is made of good old cold steel. Here's hoping to see other motorsports or vintage style watches because when Nizumi does it, it's going to be done right. Coming in at $289, the Corvoe is as affordable as a Mecha Quartz can be and at the same time delivering the aesthetics and functionality of a mil-spec watch. So the Nizumi Corvoe is another successful collection from Nizumi.